Tonight on Sale of the Century Classics, we take you back to 1985. Ladies and gentlemen, we take great pleasure in presenting the final of the Australian American Challenge. Two of the greatest competitive nations in the world ever to challenge for national glory now face each other in the quiz arena for a grand prize of $100,000. Representing Australia from New South Wales, Virginia Noel. And also from New South Wales, Fran Powell. Representing America from New York, Francis Wolfe. And from Arizona, Alice Conkright. The ultimate head-to-head -head competition with the best players in the world on Sale of the Century. And now here's the star of the show, Tony Papa. Thank you, Peter. The ultimate. What a great idea. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Everyone, welcome to the show. It's great to have you aboard this night one of the grand final of the American-Australian Challenge. I think that those opening credits summed it all up. It's all happening here. It's a five-test match series, if you like. Five nights, the best of five nights. So the first team to win three wins the match. Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the pro protagonists, here is my lovely pal, Delvin Delaney! Delhi. <laughs> All right. Do you think that's a little bit... Uh... Well, no, not really. It's just that all last week we had American shows on and I thought it was time for the Aussies to be represented again. I'm going neutral all the way, <laughs> all through the week. Absolute right down the middle, folks, me. Do you want to have a little bet? Little no, major? I can't. I'm, in, I'm too no, close actually, to the situation. That's quite I couldn't true. possibly I'm, allow I myself to either. do that. What I'd like you to do is introduce to the people at home the teens. Our American team consists of a lady who was a librarian and became a teacher, and a teacher of gifted children. From the Grand Canyon State of Arizona and the Empire State of New York, would you please welcome back Alice Conkright and Frances Wolfe. Welcome, ladies. And a big cheer from the uh, Americans in the audience. <laughs> And who else, Deli? And our Aussie team, of course, is represented by a lady who was a hospital casualty coordinator and a housewife. From Penrith and from Beecroft, both in the premier state of New South Wales, we'd like you to welcome back vivacious Virginia Noel and frantic Fran Powell. Give them a hand for There they are. Fran and Virginia, welcome back. <laughs> I know what it must be like for the people involved. Yeah, so I thought we'd get straight on with it. That's right. See you later. That's you were right the first time. Yeah. Marvellous. Fran, how do you prepare for something like this? Oh, well, I try to uh, get enough sleep and uh, yeah. I'll keep up to date with things. Is it too late to be reading and doing things like oh, that? it's never too late. What about you, Virginia? Uh, I'm with Fran. Sleeping's the most important thing to me, too. Well, of course, you being a medical person and know exactly how to do that. Sometimes. Yeah. Good luck, girls. Thank you. All the best. Welcome, America. Thank Francis, you. Francis, a teacher of gifted children who is also extremely gifted, as we found out last week. Thank you. Did you have any trouble sleeping last night, Francis? Yes, I had trouble Just sleeping a little... every night. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> oh, I guess it's a tense time. I think yes. the sooner we get it underway, Alice, would you like me to start? I think it's a good idea. Why don't we do that? $20 each, teams. Let me explain just a couple of ground rules. As mentioned before, it's the best of five matches. Tonight being a match, tomorrow night being a match. First to three wins. First team to win three nights, either consecutively or otherwise, will win the tie. Uh, you'll uh, Each winning team will receive a great prize every night. There's a big prize up for grabs for all of you. The gift shops are able to be bought by all of you. I'm sure you'll be willing to spend. I know you'll be dashing in there. Both of you get those prizes. You may confer on those decisions, by the way. you uh, And I'll explain the fame games when we get to them. But basically, it's uh, go for that buzzer, ladies. Let's Let's get underway. Round one of the match. What is the literal meaning of the word cafe, Fran, Australia? Coffee. Correct. Who played the role of Fonzie in the TV series Fran, Australia? Henry Winkler. Correct. Which European country is the home of Millefiori, Fran, Australia? Italy. Glass, Italy, correct. Which female undergarment is an anagram of Lisp, Virginia, Australia? Slip. Slip is correct. Wait till I say the names, please, girls. How many years of marriage are celebrated at a silver 
Francis, USA. 25. Correct. What was the given name by which the great scientist Einstein was? Virginia, Australia. Albert. Correct. And it's gift shop time. A good start, ladies. Good start, especially for the Australian ladies. It's uh, 45 to 25. It's good to have an early lead, ladies, because you've got $20 to spare and you can spend some of it, Delvin, can't they? Mm. Good luck. Fran and uh, Virginia, did you know that it was actually the Emperor Nero, well, and his wife, who were the first recorded Europeans to use makeup? And now the Italians uphold that tradition with this beautiful portable makeup case. It's made in Italy and cleverly designed to hold a comprehensive range of facial cosmetics and accessories. And also included uh, aftershaves for your husbands and beautiful perfumes for yourself. $612 worth of luxury tonight for six. From Pupa Givenchy and Sale of the Century. Each. Each, That's yes. That's the set each, yes. Fran Virginia. Actually, it's a well-known fact that up to as much as 2 or 3% of the female population are now using this sort of cosmetic to really... Unfortunately, the other sad statistic is that 1% of the men are using it as well. <laughs> Fran, um, you may talk about this, and you can, you can each have the set for, for uh, $4. I mean, you don't have to spend once, but you get two sets, you know what I mean? No, we're not... And you can have $500 cash each as well, just to... Mm go along with, you know. We're not in a buying mood right at the moment. Who's the captain? Virginia. Oh, Virginia's the captain. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll just leave it go then. Yeah. We'll leave it go. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of leaving it go this week. <laughs> Which brass musical instrument was played by big band leader Alice Trump America? Trumpet. Glenn Miller, trombone. Came in early, paid the price. Which is the only vowel not contained in the word commercial? <laughs> Francis, USA. You. Correct. Which very famous Irish stone could be very useful? Virginia, Australia. The Blarney Stone. Blarney Stone is right. Which Swiss Alpine dog is the world's heaviest? Alice, USA. St. Bernard. That is correct. And the USA team moves up to $30 for a pick of the board and a chance. That's $10, easy money. Who am I? I was born in London around 1340. And that was quick. Virginia? Chaucer. Australia and a pick of the board, right. Chaucer, Canterbury Tales, Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer on the board for you to pick from the famous faces are David Hasselhoff, The Night Rider, Pat Clough, The Love Boat, Michael Douglas, Romancing the Stone, Jacqueline Bethet, from a movie called Under the Volcano, Michael Nader, Dynasty, Stephanie Zimbliss, Remington Steel, Libracci, The Famous Pianist, Veronica Hamill, Hill Street Blues, and Bert Reynolds. He's in a movie called City Heat. Uh, ladies, at this point in proceedings, you may confer. You can discuss whose face you like and decide what to go for. Yeah. Well, Fran says it's my go. For my mother, I'll have Veronica Hamill. Veronica, Street for Blues. Mom. Congratulations, ladies. You've each won six pairs of individually styled high fashion men's shoes, handmade from the finest leather, valued at $600 from Karen Donor Shoes. They're lovely shoes. I don't wear anything else. As a matter of fact, I am, uh, at this very time, wearing one of them. And uh, so will your husbands be, wearing the full pair. A good start to the whole uh, series here. We've got Australia in front. Not a good start for the Americans, but there's not much in it, really. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> Nil Desperandum. Three, and the big challenge is on. It's the game of the century, perhaps less of the sale. I think it's going to be pretty hard to sell you ladies somehow or other. Um, so far, Australia leads 50 points. Francis and Alice representing uh, USA 30. Incidentally, uh, you may remember Francis was Fran last week. The reason we've distinguished is, uh, is obvious, so that we, we can tell the difference. I'm going to try something different, a, a little different this round, uh, ladies. I'm going for uh, country first, followed by the name. So please wait for your name before you respond. It'll be country, then name. Stand by and let's play. In which century were the Gilbert and Sullivan operettas? Australia, Virginia. The 19th. Correct. Which recent Soviet national leader had earlier been? USA. Alice. Chernyanko. Yuri Andropov. Earlier been head of the KGB. What colour is the common term for the box containing an aircraft? USA. Alice. Uh, yellow. The black box. Who played the title role in the film Dirty Harry? Australia. Fran. Clint Eastwood. Correct. Gift shop time. Australia skips away. Leads by 40 points. Uh, in fact, 60 to spend. Ladies, now you can really, you, I mean, you really can, can't you? I mean, you're 40 ahead and everything. Let's go uh, riding, Deli. Yep. 
you know, if the man from Snowy River had had this, the cult from Old Regret might not have got away. Because this motorbike is a rugged farm bike that features a single-cylinder two-stroke engine with automatic oil injection and also has a large 13-litre tank for long-distance travelling. It's normally $1,199. And each of you, Fran and Virginia, can ride it home for only nine from Suzuki and so the century. What a beauty! That's a good bike, isn't it? While you're $40 ahead, um, six. Six dollars. There's only, you don't both pay six dollars. You only pay one lot of six dollars. Both families get the bike. Five. We can all break our legs. Thousand dollars cash each. Thousand dollars cash each, oh, motorbike no. each. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And you'd still be fourteen dollars ahead. No. Okay. Thank you anyway. Ever feel redundant, <laughs> Deli? <laughs> Definitely so. Feeling redundant, baby? Let's get back to the questions. Of which country is Hokkaido one of Australia, Virginia? Japan. The main islands, yes. What would your zodiac sign be if you were born on the first day of June? USA, Francis. Um, a cancer. Too late. Anyway, it's Gemini. Orange, white, and which third colour make up the stripes? USA, Alice. Uh, green. Green, national flag of Irish Republic, and a break. A break there. Nice break for Alice. Of which snake are the rock and the reticulated? Australia, Fran. Python. Two kinds of python? Yes. Which Greek tycoon owned Olympic Airways? USA, Alice. Onassis. Aristotle Onassis is correct. 70 place 25. And we're looking at the fame game. What is my name? What is my name of 10 letters? I am a musical instrument. A small type of me was played in ancient times, in Mesopotamia and Egypt. In some Muslim countries today, I'm used to accompany recitations, USA, Francis. Tambourine. Yes, of the Koran. Good one, Francis. America, looking for money would be most helpful to you girls at this stage. Who would you like? You may. Liberace. You, 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 right. you're going with, <laughs> okay. Going with Libby and Let's it's. See. Congratulations, ladies. You've each won a fabulous portable typewriter, which features many computerized functions to make typing easier. Valued at $649 from Brother Industries. Nice pickup. The money would have helped a lot more, of course, trailing by uh, the odd $45 at this stage. Fran and Virginia looking good. Remember that each match, as it's played, is an entity. Tonight's game will be one rubber. Best of five, first to three wins. We're going to have a break. Two or four for All right. And the first rubber. Australia versus the USA. Fran and Virginia leading with $70 to 25. Francis and Alice at this stage as we play round three. Which country established the former penal colony? USA, Alice. France, Devil's Island. Yes. Gave us everything. Finished the question, the whole thing. Who wrote the children's story, The Emperor's Australia, Fran? Hans Anderson. Hans Christian Anderson. Yeah, I'm glad you just glad you put in the Christian there. Helps a lot. Which island country was the centre of the 1962 missile? USA, Francis. Uh, Crisis, Cuba. Oh, Alice, you knew. I know. But she beat she got, you. She beat me. Give her a belt. No, no. I went blind. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Be nice to each other. Yes, lovely. The 1972 film Deliverance featured USA Alice. Burt Reynolds. It did, actually, but it also Dueling. featured a hit song titled Dueling Watts. The banjos. And that dreadful business with the tree and the ropes and everything. Um, 75 leads the game. Fran and Virginia. Now, don't forget, this is an opportunity for you to talk to each other. Go and relax. Have a chat. Talk about it. Well, yeah, think amongst yourself. Delvine, tempt them. Well, Virginia and Fran, as you know, when you hold a dinner party, you like to make sure that you, your guests are comfortable. And this is a good start, this dining setting, because the design and production of the superb suite is based on a technique patented in the 1850s. The mountain ash extension table is complemented by eight bentwood chairs featuring hand-sewn cane on the seats and backs. This dining setting is priced at $2,200. Lucky you, it's only 16 from Fi Australia and Sale of the Century. Come on, girls, talk it up. Huh? Not today. Tomorrow, maybe. So, really, very nice. 
and you are $55 ahead. Australia leads by $55 at the midway point of the third round. So if I said to you $12, ladies, remember you'll both get the furniture, and I gave you $500 cash each, you'd probably think I was a really nice person. We think that anyway. So you wouldn't want to say no to a really nice person, would you? We wouldn't like to, but we might. Are you going to buy? Not today. $10. We're too nervous. We're too nervous. No. $10. Too nervous to buy. Yes. Too nervous to buy. Oh, well, what Maybe when I they say? get a couple of games up or something. Yeah. <laughs> Living hope. Do -de -da -da -da. Let us proceed. With which newspaper magnate was actress Australia Fran? Hurst. You didn't want more information on that, Rich? No, I'm quite happy with Hurst, Tony. Marion Davies was the actress, William Randolph Hurst. Mm -hmm. Which European political party of the 1930s and 40s, USA Alice? Nazi. Were known as the Black Shirts, Italian fascists. Which Jewish word of greeting or farewell, Australia Fran? Shalom. Means peace and... It's $85 to 15 in rubber one. Who am I? Big one for you ladies on this side. Who am I? I was born in Wales in 1841 and died in London. Australia, Fran. Henry Morton Stanley. Yes, absolutely correct. Wizard answer. Bang. Wales, 1841, London, 1904. On the board, ladies. You may discuss it, then you may select. Jacqueline Bisset, please. I like Jacqueline that. Bisset. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, ladies. You've each won a fabulous selection of toys consisting of Cabbage Patch dolls, Bug Catcher, and much more. Valued at $350 from Toll Toys. There you go. Something for the kids. The other money was Deli. But Reynolds had 10, Stephanie Zimbler's 15, and right in the middle, Michael made a 25. There you go. There's the fast money to go in this first match of the series. Francis and Alice, did you ever see a wonderful sporting film called Do You Believe in Miracles? Sure. <laughs> it was all about, no, it was great. And it was about the American ice hockey team winning the 76 oh, right. against, and look, think of that in the break. We'll be right back. Fight. Who knows? It's the first America-Australia test. And we've come to the fast money round with Australia leading $85 to 15. Ladies, I have to ask you at this point, if for the sake of the fast money we can dispense with the country nomination and just go for Fran, Virginia, Francis, okay, Francis? Okay. Alice, is that? Fine. All clear. All right, stand by everyone. 60 seconds on the clock. And the round starts now. Who wrote the play, Romeo and... Virginia. Shakespeare. Correct. How many prongs does a trident? Alice. Three. Correct. Which alphabet is gamma? The th Virginia. The Greek. Right. Who led the pioneer rock band? Alice. Elvis Presley. Bill Haley. Which food have you ordered if you asked for Gouda? Alice. Yes. Yes. How many events constitute the decathlon? Virginia. Ten. Yes. In which Arab country was Omar Sharif born? Alice. Uh, uh, Egypt. Yes. In which ocean are the Galapagos? Virginia. The Atlantic. Pacific. Which mythological horse had the ability to... Francis. Pegasus. Yes. How many microns make one litre? Virginia. A hundred. A billion. What are collected or studied by a conchologist? Alice. Uh, rocks. Shells. What is the Spanish name for Peter? Alice. Uh, Piedro. Pe Pedro's... Stop the clock. At the 14 second mark. Uh, I had, uh, Piedro Pedro. I heard Piedro, Pedro, Tony. I'm afraid an A was put in the first word. I couldn't accept that. I'm sorry. It's just plain Pedro, not Piedro. Oh, tough old. I am tough. I'm sorry, tough. but I must be fair to everybody. Piedro, Pedro. So got that, Alice? Got it. I'm... Not to worry. Let's continue the scores. A 90 Australia, 20 USA. 14 seconds remaining. Restart the clock. Now, for which sport is Monza in Italy, Fran? Motor car racing. Right. In which continent is the Indus River? Virginia. Asia. Yes. What is the term for a female seal? Virginia. Cow. Right. Which country has controlled Tibet since 19... Virginia. China. Yes. From which Norse god? There it is. Aussie win. Night one. No uh, sign of um, hesitation on that side. And a pretty clear-cut win, too. Ladies, you could have bought all of those prizes and still won and had the cash and everything. But I guess being night one, we can expect... Um, 
perhaps we can expect the local girls to be more comfortable on night one, Francis and Alice. There's a long way to go. One thing about it, we wipe the slate clean and you start fresh <laughs> tomorrow evening. Better luck at that time. Fran and Virginia, congratulations. You've won the first rubber. You've also won this. You've both won Australian paintings. They're by Jack Absalom, an artist with superb talent for capturing the true essence of Australia. The first is titled Mount Sonder Panorama, and the second is titled Sunrise at the Flinders Ranges. They're valued at $7,250 each from Elder Fine Art Gallery. They're lovely. They are very... And in fact, they would have been terrific for the, uh, for the American ladies to take yeah. home. But that's the way it is. Look, I think everyone in the place was really uptight, except you girls tonight. Have you been working on relaxation technique or anything? No, it has absolutely no effect on me. Yeah? <laughs> I'm good. You're still pretty uptight, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. And are you, are you sort of uh, finding the system works all right between you? Yes. First in, yes. best dressed, etc. Right, well, um, I don't think you're going to get it that easy all week. Oh, I've got no. a funny feeling the Americans will strike back. They usually do. Uh, remember, uh, well, yeah, lots of places. We'll be back tomorrow night, everyone, for the big challenge. Keep smiling and bye, bye for bye. now. Bye-bye. <laughs>Tomorrow night at 7.30, it's all new adventure in the Outback when we premiere the 91 season of The Flying Doctors. You'll meet new characters and old friends as Nikki Cogill, David Rain and Sophie Lee move into town. That's 7.30 tomorrow night. But right now, 48 Hours is next on 9. This is a Grundy television production for the Nine Network. Peter Smith speaking.